Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and as you can tell by the sound of my voice, I have a terrible cold. Adam has shared with me his cold and I'm like, bro, you can share with me your food, your money, your cuddles, but your cold you can keep. He got me sick already this month and now, well, last month and now I'm sick again with a cold, but that cannot stop us today. No, no, because today, my friends, we have our June boxy charm. Really, it's an Ipsy. I cannot believe this delivered June 1st. Y'all, I like, I, I'm sorry, but Joe could never. Joe never delivered on the first. So I have to give credit where credit is due, right? Penny, are you being sassy in there? You know mommy is sick. I cannot keep reshooting things. If you've been following along on Instagram, and if you don't, you can follow me right here. My girl Penny, my little sweet girl. Ignore the mess. My little girl Penny here had surgery. Um, she has a very large incision on her side, but she successfully had a tumor removed and we got back the results and it looks like it is very localized and it is a low grade situation so we don't need further treatments for cancer which some of you may not have known that was even going on behind the scenes but we just got good news so i'm so happy and i'm happy to share that with you but today i have a bare face i sound like my husband i sound like a dude my voice is deep but we're gonna dive into these today and we're gonna see is there skincare in here for me to try is there makeup let's get into all of this together Grab your cough medicine, grab your tea, grab your snack, grab your water, get comfy, and let's get into this together. Cheers! What we're going to be unboxing today, my friends, is the Glam Bag and the Boxy Charm. Now, you would not know that based off what you are seeing here. The Boxy Charm, as they're still calling it on all of their marketing, is five full-size products. Members get to choose three products, which is super exciting. I love that you can choose more of your options, which is why we don't see the card. And thank you so much, my friends, for telling me that last month. It should be up to a $200 value in these boxes, and it is $28 a month. I'll have all my links and information in the description box below. These are gifted to me because I've worked with BoxyCharm now for a few years, not the whole time, but I've been doing BoxyCharm reviews for forever. I feel like it's an old friend. So I may have been taking this a little personally, how this whole merge but not merge has gone on. It's come on a more of a takeover. The glam bag is something I'm less familiar with. This is five deluxe beauty samples. They call them deluxe beauty samples. Members get to choose one of the products in here. I have no idea what's any of the in the blah, blah, blah. I have no idea what's in any of these boxes. This is also up to a $70 value and this is $13 a month. So let's start with the bag so we can kind of, I feel like that's just, I don't know, it's like you start a little small and then you work your way up to see what we're gonna be putting on this face today. And we're gonna see if this is worth your money. Because I'm very honest with you, even though if something is gifted to me, you guys know I keep it really real with you. And the icon box from last month, that box was worth it. I was frustrated about, again, the branding, still saying, not saying icon box, but saying Ipsy and stuff, but I have to tell you that the makeup in there, so good. Go check out that video if you missed it. Oh, oh yeah, stuff outside the stuff. Oh look, <laughs> oh my goodness. How 90s Barbie punk cuteness neon is this? Outside of it is, is this a puff? I'm getting some Tati vibes from this Rena Re Rebelled cosmetics this looks like a little pink puff for like under the eyes like down the nose kind of puff yep that's exactly what this is here how many of you guys remember when tati had her blendiful i still have the big one i didn't actually like the little one it was a lot like this in her colors but it was very very firm what i like about this one is it's actually really malleable and soft i still have the tati beauty blendiful here it's very similar but this one was for the face and i liked how this felt for the face. Hers was really rigid. I like that this one is a lot more flexible for this area. So that's exciting. Oh my goodness. And I just realized the little zipper here says love on it. I love that. I love the love. So on brand for me, right? Let's see what is in this little muffin. Ooh, Franken body, hip rose, body scrub, and cleanser. Okay, this is pretty cute, and I don't mind getting a deluxe size sample of something like this. It's a two-in-one melting body scrub with an exfoliating sugar and smoothing hip rose hip oil. Okay, this is something I will actually like for like my legs and stuff now that it's summer and I'm wearing more dresses and fun things like that. That is really cool. Oh, Benefit. I mean, how many of y'all remember when this was like taking over YouTube in like 2016? Obviously a little guy. I'm thinking this is their bronzer here. Look how cute. Yeah, this is their matte bronzer. 
do they not have shade names? I can't really remember. Um, I unfortunately don't use Benefit because they're not cruelty free, which is such a bummer because I remember hearing about how great this bronzer is. Everybody was loving it. Their packaging was always like the differentiator for them. I feel like it's a little bit of a detractor for me personally because it takes up a lot of real estate, but I've heard it's a really good one. This is their Hula bronzer. That's right. Hula right there. So I'm going to gift this to a friend, but I love seeing that there is a nice quality brand in the bag. Two more muffins in here. What is this? Unfiltered Beauty Co. Is this a gloss? Oh, it says cruelty free right on it. I love that. Even if I'm not really sure of everything, I like to see that marking. Pout Potion Lip Oil, a lush potion infused with wellness ingredients like shea butter, hydrating oils, and hyaluronic acid. Vitamin E to visibly hydrate and smooth the lips to an irres irresistibly juicy finish. I'm going to try to talk today, guys, even though I'm totally nasal. Bear with me. I have switched over to a kombucha. I'm hoping some probiotics will help your girl. The easiest way I find to open these without breaking a nail when it's perforated plastic is to get some tweezers. You could do it. Okay, there we go. I was wearing a CoverGirl Yummy Gloss because I was liking that, but let's see how we feel about this unfiltered gloss. Mm. Oh, it smells good. It kind of smells like vanilla and coconut. It's very summer, like suntan lotion-y vibes, but not in a bad way. Let me look on their website to see if I can find costs for y'all today. I don't have the app. I know a lot of y'all said get the app. I don't have the app yet. And I don't know if I need a little login for something like that. Unfiltered Beauty Co. Pout Potion Lip Oil in So Retro. That's what this is called, So Retro. Oh yeah, lip oil right there. The value of this is $21. Hmm, I like this. This is very smooth on the lips, very glassy-like, not feeling sticky, not feeling too messy right now either, so I like that. I'll tell you prices for these other things too, but the last thing in here, whoa, what is this? Real Niacinamide Serum. It's like this Barbie little container and it looks very like dermatology prescription style. Let's see what it is. It's real niacinamide 15% firming serum. Oh girl, we may be putting this on today because I have nothing on my face. 10 milliliter deluxe sample. It's a serum. What does it do? Get ready to say niacinamizing. Niacinamazing? I'm too sick for these cute little puns right now. I'm sorry. With a whopping 15% niacinamide, this baby works hard to help firm and brighten your beautiful skin all while helping reduce the appearance of pores and fine lines. Ah, dat gummit, these guys are not cruelty free, unfortunately. Well, that stinks, because that sounds pretty cool. The Corazon Baby Powder Puff by Rena Rebelled, I'm not gonna say that right, I'm sorry, is a value of $8. The Frank Body is a value of, I see the size, I see that it's a body scrub. Maybe it's hard for them with samples. Yeah, because like the real niacinamide does not have a cost value and unfortunately neither does the Frank's body. So maybe they don't tell you that with the deluxe samples. Again, I'm not, I'm, I'm a boxy girl, not really an ipsy girl. So I'm unfamiliar with how they kind of normally do things. So apologies for that. I'm gonna check out if the benefit has a cost of buying to it. It does not. So we're just hoping that the retail value really is up to $70, although I know this is a very popular bronzer. Obviously, good niacinamides, good skincare is always a little more costly. So that is good to know. And so far, I've gotten to try this, and I really like the lip gloss. Now let's move on to the big box. So I'm on their website, and that how I'm finding all their products is, since I don't have the app right now, going off of what they're calling each thing. And they are still calling this BoxyCharm on their website. That's how I suss out like which products are where. I just wish the box said BoxyCharm because then I would feel like I'm still with BoxyCharm and not Ipsy took it over. Personal thoughts. I'm also really hoping this month to see some padding in here, something to keep things from breaking because that was a big complaint last month with the Icon Box and the BoxyCharm was just seeing how many broken things everyone was getting. So let's see if they have any more filler in here. Okay, the paper. We saw before, but that doesn't really help. Nope, no filler. I do really hope they get back to that because that was, everybody had broken products. People that pay for the box, PR, everybody was getting broken products last month, which is such a bummer. First thing on top here is some skincare. This is Symbosis Skincare. It's an enlightening and exfoliating cleansing gel. Value of $76. This is a cleansing gel. It's a face wash that will leave your skin feeling light and bright. 
This gentle, non-drying cleanser is the perfect step in your skincare routine. Okay, good to know. Ooh, this is the Dew of the Gods Ultra Tonic Watermelon Extract Toner. Value of this is $36. This is a full size. It says it's packed with all the good stuff. Alpha hydroxy acids, vitamins, hyaluronic acids, and the star ingredient, watermelon. This toner will help leave your skin looking and feeling its best. Gently exfoliate, soften, and tone with this refreshing fruity formula that will have your skin glowing in no time. So if I were seeing a lot of skincare, I don't even think I have any makeup yet that I can put on other than the gloss, so let's keep going. Oh, I feel like I've seen this brand all over like the TikTok ads. I feel like what I keep seeing for it though is the foundation. I think this is the brand Il Makeage. I'm going to say that so wrong. I'm sorry. This is the Color Boss Squad eyeshadow palette in Call the Shots. Value of $42. Color Boss. It's, so it's called Workaholic, I think is the palette I got. Let's take a look. I just checked it out and this is a cruelty free brand. Ooh, this component is super heavy. This feels very luxe. I don't want to break it. Oh, it just lifts. Okay, look here. Ooh. Okay, that's a nice approachable quad. So it has a very nice mirror in it. This is a very heavy, like substantial piece. This feels very luxe with the packaging. This eyeshadow palette is the ultimate quad to help you create the perfect smoky eye, including a versatile matte brown, three glistening golden shimmers. Three? I feel like they look like mattes in the pan. Maybe I'm wrong. This formula glides on like a dream, blends like a boss, and stay put all day long. Okay, I am excited to play with this. I believe the next thing I have in here is a highlighter. Let's take a look. So this is the Bow Babe Beauty Highlighter in Bronze. This is a $25 value. I'm unfamiliar with this brand, honestly. Oh, she is taped shut. And it does have a cruelty-free logo on it. Love to see that. It's 2023, we don't need to be testing animals for makeup. We just don't need it. Okay, let's take a look here. This is the bronze highlighter. That's why I was confused at first. I'm like, I'm too sick to be able to decipher. Is this a highlighter or is this a bronzer? I'm dropping the top foam here, but ooh, look at that. Whoa, what am I even looking at? This is a, it says, are you ready to glow? This bronzed highlighter will add the perfect touch of golden light to your skin, helping you to achieve that golden goddess glow you've been dreaming of. Oh my gosh. That branding was made for me. How often do you hear me say in the summers, especially, I want that golden goddess glow. I want to touch it because when I'm looking here in it, I don't know if you could tell on camera, it almost looks like it's, it's creamy. It looks really sparkly. I'll be honest. That part kind of scares me. So let's. Okay, there is texture to it, but well, some of it feels a little gritty, some of it doesn't. So I'm ri oh, I'm really curious how this is gonna play on the skin because that does not look bad. That almost gives me some Becca vibes. I could feel a little bit of grittiness, but not bad. And look how it's spreading over the skin. Okay, I'm excited to play with this. And there is one last thing here in the box. Luckily, nothing broke. Oh man, scrolling through all this, there's a lot of options out there this month. So. There's plenty out there that I did not receive, guys. So if you're disappointed in this box, there are other options. Oh, it's a gel eyeliner duo kit. Eyeliner, I mean, I keep getting so many eyeliners. It just doesn't feel special to me. It doesn't get me excited. This is a $32 value. So it is a cruelty-free and vegan brand. This is the ultimate eyeliner. Meet the ultimate dynamic duo for your eyes in two colors. We all need black and brown. This kit has got you covered with both for these long lasting smudge proof looks made with sustainable synthetic Japan wax. These liners glide on like butter and stay put all day long and night. So let's see here. We've got some pink packaging here. Are these? Oh yeah, now these are covered in plastic. Everything is childproof today. When I don't feel like I could overcome all of the childproofing. This one is the brown gel liner and it is a very fine tip as you can see. Let's take a quick look, see here. Oh wow. Yeah, that's pigmented. You saw that, right? It said it's not, you can't smudge it. Maybe once it's down and once it's dry, maybe then it can't. Good to know. I like how it is pretty fine. So that way when you are going in there, maybe you can be a little bit more precise with it. 
Okay, so let me just do a quick add up for you to let you know the retail value of this particular box. And then we're gonna, well, there's a lot of skincare. Maybe I'll do some of this cleanser and stuff. We'll see. 25 for the highlighter. 32 for the liners. 42 for the eyeshadow. 76 for the cleansing gel that I'm like, whew, would I ever spend that much on a cleansing gel in real life? Probably not. No, I know I wouldn't. Do of the gods, $36. So that adds up to $211 for everything in this box. I have to say, so far I'm really liking this gloss. It's not moving around. It's keeping my lips hydrated. I'm feeling very dehydrated in life right now. So that is helping your girl that does not feel great today. Since these are really two big factors of this box and I don't have anything on my face, including skincare, why not? I will go start with this cleanser that is so expensive and then jump into the tonic from Dew of the Gods and I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so what I could say about this cleanser is it is really nice. I understand that it has a really high value because the ingredients have to be amazing for what I just felt on my skin. That being said, applying it, it was going on really creamy. I could kind of lather it up. It looked very pearlized in the hands. It doesn't feel like a rough exfoliator at all. It definitely has those nice properties to it that glide over the skin. But right now, as my skin is drying, I can feel it like getting, you know, a little not dry in a bad way but like I feel it a little tighter because I feel like it was doing some active ingredients there I'm really curious what Adam's gonna think because you guys know he loves trying my skincare and is very particular he does not hold back on his feelings so I'm curious what he's gonna think right now I'm pretty pleased with how my skin feels I'm gonna be trying the dew of the gods tonic here the ultra tonic is anything coming out do I need to open it what do I gotta do my head is so fuzzy right now, I'm having a hard time processing even simple things. So I'm like, is there a stopper in here? Your girl is wrecked right now with a cold and I'm bending over was probably not a good idea and then try to talk on camera. Here we go, here we go. Yes, there was a stopper in here. You will have to take that out. That's totally fine. I just, um, I, I am not all with it today. So let's try this again. It's less of a liquidy product and a little bit more maybe gel like maybe gel like's not the right word here but it's definitely not as like i have some tonics that are toners that are oh i smell the watermelon and i have a cold they're a lot more watery the previous things i've tried like they'll just dump out and this is not doing that it's a little bit more consistent a little bit more thickness but not like a not like a gel gooeyness it's just kind of going right into it Smells amazing, spreading out my skin really well. Okay. If my skin is looking red, that's just what happens with my skin, so don't be alarmed by that. Anytime I put any pressure on it, it turns a little red, but then it goes away. That's just how my skin is. I could definitely smell the watermelon extract in there. I'm really curious to see how both of these do over time. Hopefully they don't break me out. I will keep you updated in a phase and fails and let you know what Adam thinks, because you guys love to hear what he thinks, because he's really honest i'm honest but he is like deathly like doesn't hold back honest kind of thing so now i really want to put this gloss back on because washing my face took it off and my lips are super dry right now so that's a good sign that i automatically wanted to put this lip oil back on it's not a gloss it's a lip oil back on from the bag i'm not sure there's gonna be much i get to try from the bag unfortunately other than the gloss because this is something i will definitely use in the shower and i'll keep you updated in a phase and fails i might try this little booger today too man i really wish i could try this so as far as makeup goes though what we really have here is an eyeshadow palette which i'm pretty excited to play with this highlighter which i'm i'm excited for that too two liners meh, less excited about that but let me get to that part of the video now, I guess, because I can't use this bronzer, unfortunately, from the sample bag. 
but a lot of people know benefit. They know how the Hula bronzer works. This isn't like new information, whereas these are new. This is gonna be new information. I've never tried any of these brands or anything, and I feel like these are a less known brand, so this could be amazing. This feels like a very makeup light month, honestly, but compared to the Icon box, it probably would no matter what because there we got multiple palettes from a boxy charm and an icon box i love the icon box i was really pleased with that let me put on some makeup i'll be right back you guys i'm sitting here putting on my makeup trying to be able to breathe again and i'm like i have to make sure i mention this when i come back on camera with makeup on and i'm just gonna do it now i could definitely tell a difference with this cleanser my skin was like prepped and ready to to have makeup put on it and now i'm like is it this is it this? Was it the combination? Because I'm not going to use, I mean, I can't say my skin felt like glass ready to put, be putting things on, but it was like prepped. It felt really nice. So I was putting on uh, multiple foundations today for color matching and I wanted to pop back into some things to rediscover. Everything is going on really well. I'm, I, I you know, you don't think of like a cleanser to be like that first step before makeup. And I'm so sorry I sound nasal, but yeah, this is, I mean, my, my, my skin, even though I don't sound great, my skin is like, let's do this. Let's do this. We're game ready. I'm loving that. I'm pretty excited to be jumping into this little puff here for the under eyes. I checked online and they said the best way to use this little baby is with a powder. Now it can be a pressed powder or a loose powder. And I have out two of my pressed powders that I would usually use under the eyes. I love my longtime cover girl. And then this is the newer cover girl from the fresh clean line that I'm trying. But I have an upcoming declutter that I have to do that I feel like I've been putting off and it is all my loose powders. And it's just because after you get so many, sometimes you don't know anymore what you love. So I've been rediscovering things. So what I'm gonna jump into right now for the under eyes to set this makeup is the Too Faced Born This Way loose powder with this puff. This is part of my rediscovering. So you get to see me try some stuff in the wild again and remind myself, did I love this? Did I not love it? Is it time to declutter it? Have a whole series going on and this is the next section that I really need to get into. So setting up everything for success, I'm just going to take my damp sponge, make sure there's no creasing. I'm also going to ask you guys right now, what is a summer read that you recommend? I am loving reading in the sunshine and I think that's going to help me feel better sooner. So what's a book or a book series or something that you are loving right now for summer? Like what's one of your favorites? Tell your girl. All right, I have used puffs before, so let's just dive into here and see how she does. Like I said, the only other one that I've tried that was not from a brand itself that comes with a puff is Tati's, and hers was really firm, the small one. I liked the big one better because it wasn't as firm, and I could do more with it to like get it into the nooks and crevices here. This one is way more flexible, and I like that feature of this quite a bit. It feels really nice under the eye, on the lid. This is like the sensitive skin that we need to be mindful of, not only for makeup, because this is where things could go crazy and get cakey or crease, but this is just sensitive skin, so you don't want to apply a lot of pressure either. I always kind of felt like her smaller puff just didn't work well for me, but the bigger one did. But this one, this one I'm liking. Gets in there, malleable. I like to go down the nose a bit too, just because that's where my makeup will break apart, especially when I'm blowing my nose. You know, I might even use this puff now with this powder all over, because I don't think I have any other, yeah, I don't have any creams I have to do today. I like that this doesn't seem to be smudging or upsetting any of the makeup underneath the foundations, the concealers. It seems to just be allowing the powder to do the setting. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I've had some puffs like that come in components that are just either too fluffy and you can't control them and you get too much powder or be too aggressive or too firm and kind of move stuff or you're not maybe getting an even blend on there because you can't like really press it in. But so far, I like to do a stipple motion. I think this is doing really well. I think the powder is doing well too, but we'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Be subscribed for the rest of my declutter series. Yeah, nothing feels tacky. Nothing feels sticky. Everything just kind of feels like it's ready for that next step. So that's good. All right. I've taken a little bit more meds. I sound a little bit more normal. 
reapplying the gloss because I just ate a little something and I'm really liking this gloss. Not a gloss. I keep saying gloss because now that's in my head. Lip oil. This is a lip oil. I like it. Finished up my makeup for the most part. I still have to do some more stuff, but let's, let's go into the highlighter right now. This is the bronze highlighter is what the name of this product is. This is from Bow Babe Beauty. This is the $25 retail value. And I think the swatch on my shoulder actually still is performing. So I'm curious if that can just kind of like give me a nice highlighty glow without showing texture on my oily bossy poured skin. Let's find out how this does. I'm not a huge fan of the big spot specks of glitter that I do see in the pan and on the brush and I just saw one go up right up here but you know maybe it'll be fine I just want it to still look smooth I'm even going to you know we're gonna do some collarbone work because why not we're looking for that what do they call it the golden goddess glow it's summer we want those things I don't have on any of my other body glows because I want to see how this does. I'm not mad at how it's looking either. On the face is really where I'm going to be a little bit more specific because I don't want big chunks of glitter. I do just want some smooth glow and so far I think it is doing that which is pretty exciting. I love finding indie brands that perform really well so I'm, I have high hopes for this. Now, I have been doing a little bit of investigating while I was putting on the rest of my makeup, trying to feel better about this brand and this specific eyeshadow palette because when I was reading the description, it said it had three shimmery shadows. And I was like, I see one shimmer shadow and three mattes, which I prefer more, three mattes and one shimmer versus a bunch of shimmer. But as I was looking on the Ipsy website, they are showing one that has like a dark, matte shade here and three highlighty shades. Hold on, Penny's yelling at me that she needs to come in. Since she's been in recovery, she just bellows for me and I have to come running and I usually do. Hold on. Wonder if there is another one going around or if this just looks matte in the pan to me. So let's let's put our fingers in it because I'm actually really excited about this. I kind of seen this brand roaming around online and I've never gotten to try it and this is really bougie packaging. So I have really high hopes especially with all the marketing behind it and $42 value for four shades. Girl, you better be amazing. And I do love to start my lid with a creamy matte shade and dip into the mattes. Yeah, these are mattes. So there might be more going around that look very similar, but it looks identical as far as the colors go. It's just the one I'm seeing on their website is definitely shimmer and mine are definitely matte. So keep that in mind. Might be a little confusing, but it's okay. We'll get through it. Ooh. Yeah, and that shimmer on my pinky looks beautiful, like a champagne tone. So I'm pretty excited. Ending pretty creamy. Ooh, that's, that is really opaque for being a nude shade. Oh my goodness. Oh, just these swatches alone are really getting me excited for putting this on my eyes. Punching you in a bit here so we can play. Gonna go into this very creamy matte shade, not shimmer. And it really gave some punch in that hand swatch. So I'm kind of curious to see how this does. Not too much kick up in the pan and I kind of thought there might be, but there's, there's really not. I am seeing it on the lid. It's not like pow punching like I kind of thought it would be, but it's definitely gliding on the skin. And I could definitely layer it up. I'm kind of trying to get a bunch on the brush just to see what it'll do with some layering up of the nude. This is with nothing on it. Just to give you an idea, you definitely see the creaminess. Just kind of like set the eye up for the rest of the shadows. Apparently Kathleen Lights has a collab with these guys. I have to admit I'm very behind on like being a viewer of YouTube because sometimes when you do this weekly, it kind of takes over when you also work a full-time job. So I don't always get to watch all of my old favorites. So that's cool to know that Kathleen, who I really trusted a lot of her reviews when I was watching her pretty regularly. That's good to know because she is someone I trust and I'm really liking how these are laying down. 
Yeah, more of the ads that I see for this brand are specifically for their foundations. I was just doing a little bit more research as I'm looking through this. So now I'm gonna take a crease brush and I'm gonna go into this lighter brown shade. It's a little bit more of like a medium brown, maybe some like chocolatey tones. It's got a great mirror to it too. So I'm just gonna see how it blends in the crease. It is a bit warmer. Usually I tend to start my eye looks with a creamy base and then lately the past like, I don't know, a few years I've been doing a little bit more of a cool tone. So this is a little bit warmer, kind of getting us all fiery for summer. Okay, I'm in it. It's got a little bit, I would say, of an orange tone on my skin. So that's something to keep in mind too because when I'm thinking of a brown, I may be thinking more of a true brown. This definitely is warmer so it's got that fiery terracotta orange base to it definitely builds up well. I think it blends pretty well too. On their own website, these palettes, these four pan palettes have a lot of different color stories to them. So there are more options if this maybe isn't your jam. Cause like I said, the marketing and PR on the Ipsy website does say there are three shimmers and these are definitely mattes. These are not shimmers. So I'm thinking there may have been another palette roaming around in there. Maybe I just got one that has more mattes, which I'm perfectly fine with. I'd rather have more matte options at this point. Oh, I may have gone more bold over here than I meant to. Whoops. Just kind of playing with these shadows, seeing how they apply. But you could definitely see this is more orange than it is maybe brown. Can do build up, definitely could go in lighter handed. Now we know, and you guys know I'm not scared of an orange look because I used to do a lot of orange eyeshadow looks. That was like a fiery summer fall vibe was totally my jam back in the day. Um, we've all been doing a little bit more clean natural makeup the past few years, but this formula so far is pretty nice. And I'm not scared to just also go back into the creamy shade here and just kind of like, you know, subdue it a little bit, kind of blend it down. Now this is a very deep shade over here, so I'm curious how much pow I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna be a little cautious. Maybe I don't need to be as cautious. We'll see. Let's kind of do a little bit because I'm not going for a full smoky eye, which I know is like what they were saying this could do. But I'm just going to put a little on the outer corner here and then I'm going to use the shimmer in here with my finger, which is my favorite way to use a shimmer. And that was in their directions a good way to use it also with brushes. But I like to take a shimmer with my finger because I feel like I get the best coverage and opacity that way. Yeah, I would say I could definitely see how this builds well, I'm going to take my finger here into the shimmer shade, Champagne Vibes, and I'm just gonna spread that. So like this is very low energy today, guys. I'm sorry, I did not anticipate getting such a nasty cold. Take my brush with, you know, whatever was left on it and just kind of like run it through my crease just to get the matte in there. Maybe a little down here just to give it a little bit of life on this underlash area, kind of marry it to the top. I wonder if Call the Shots is the other palette that's going around in the Ipsy BoxyCharms because that's the one that I'm seeing looks very similar to this color story, but it does have the three shimmers. So that might be what the other product is going around. Mine is Workaholic, just so you know, which is three mattes and one shimmer. And now I'm over here looking at the Toy Factory liners. These are a $32 value. You get two, one brown, one black. I'm gonna stick with the brown one that I have open since it kind of goes with this eye look. Here we go. Again, this is a very narrow tip. So you can be very precise with this. Oh yeah, she's really pigmented. She shows up immediately. I know they said they, it doesn't smudge and maybe they just mean once it's set, but I'm curious. Take a little paddle brush here and just see if I could smoke it a bit to go with the darker shades. And yes, I can. Yes, I can. Pretty darn easily too. So I don't know about that marketing where they said it's smudge proof, but they could be meaning that to say something like once it's on, you know, it's not going to middle of the day smear off. This side smudged so much, I need to actually do a little bit more shimmer to get it to match this side. And this time I will take a little bit more of a flat brush just to see how does the shimmer perform with a brush. Oh, performs really well. So before I give you guys my final thoughts, I did pop on some like trio lashes, just some little guys here from Ardell, the individuals on the outside. And I thought, you know what I'm going to do? 
I'm gonna test out this black liner that I did get from the Toy Factory doll paint because I used the brown on the lids. I'm gonna try to tight line since this is a very small tip and it's black. I wanna try to tight line just to kind of give this a little bit more complete look and see how it does. Does it transfer? Does it smudge? I think that actually looks pretty good. I'm also very distracted when I look in the viewfinder right now by my highlighter because I think it looks really good. Tip makes it super easy to tight line and I'm a big weenie about touching my eyes or being near my eyes. I'm very, very lucky that I have good eyesight. I don't have to wear contacts or anything because touching my eyes is like the worst thing in my life. I hate doing it. So the fact that I can get really close and it's doing a great job. All right, I'm more impressed with this liner now. Because uh, let's be serious, a liner's a liner. We get so many of these in subscription boxes, it just doesn't feel very special when we get them, even if it's a little bundle, a duo or two. But the fact that I could tight line like that and just kind of finish the look a little bit, I'm not mad about that. And there's just a, maybe a touch of it transferring down on the bottom, but not much at all so far. So let me push the camera back and let's kind of go through. Do I think, what did I think overall of these two, the bag and the box? Which one do I think is worth more of your money if you are leaning one way or the other? And let's see what I think about the products too, because something is falling on my face right now and I'm trying to figure out what it is. Let's find out. All right, everything is on. Everything has had some time to sit down because I have been taking a lot of breaks in between takes of shooting these things for you to show you how things are applying. And I really love my makeup today. Even though I feel like maybe this wasn't a like pup how, check out this well-known eyeshadow palette or something foundation, I still really think that a lot of these products benefited and really got me to this end result. And I really like today's look. And when you don't feel good, sometimes when you like put in a little bit of effort to look like you're like, oh, maybe I do feel a little bit better. My skin is looking good. This highlight is looking good. I have some serious thoughts here. And I also want to tell you which thing, if you're kind of wanting to tiptoe back into the subscription box makeup world, which one might be the better bang for your buck at this moment? I totally give myself the grace to say in the future that could change. My initial thoughts on the bag right now are, there are some things in here I unfortunately can't use, but I'm happy to pass along to a friend who's gonna be so stoked to get a great bronzer from Benefit. They are known for this Hula bronzer. That doesn't even bother me. Even the bag, because I used to really not like getting the bag. I think the bag is super fun. It's got the 90s vibes in it. I love the love tab here, so cute. And I have not been able to stop putting on this lip oil. At the end of the video, I'm able to say lip oil, not gloss. I like this lip oil a lot. I'm gonna keep using it. It reminds me of something that I have tried before um, from a different brand. I can't remember what it was, but it was from a boxy charm, of course. And I feel like it stays put. It's not a lip oil that gets everywhere. I actually had this on while I was putting on foundations, concealers, powders, and it didn't get crazy. That's a big win for a lip oil. And it still felt like hydrating. And when your girl is sick, I get super dehydrated. So that's an extra win for me personally right now. I like this quite a bit and it stays on. I even tried to take it off to put on actual lip color today and this still stayed like not 100% but kept my lips hydrated, which I'm not mad about because then I put on a pencil and a lipstick, so happy about that. The other thing that I think is a standout for me personally from the bag itself, the glam bag, is this tiny little puff. I think this did a great job considering I haven't used puffs in a long time separately from something that comes with it, like the Tati Blundiful and stuff had its like moment a couple years ago, but I don't really seek these things out. So I, at first when I opened it, I was like, well, what am I gonna do with this? I'm gonna forget about it. But to be flat out honest, I have so many loose powders that I'm always seeking a brush that's clean or maybe a brush that would work well for a certain product. This worked great to get the powder all over my face, specifically under the eyes, down the nose. Nothing is looking cakey. Nothing is looking crepey. Nothing is looking like it is too much. So I'm actually really excited about this. I need to like figure out a space here that maybe with my powders, do I? Put it with my loose powders so that way I'm like, oh yeah, just grab for this. Cause this is actually really convenient and it's not too stiff. When they're really stiff for me, they don't work well. So the fact that I can bend this, mold this, I think this is 
pretty great. I am also excited about some Frank's Body. I do like this brand and I think this is going to be great this summer, um, specifically for my legs. My legs dry out a ton. So I'm going to keep you posted on this. Stay tuned for an end of month faves and fails where I've already got some other things that for June I need to let you know about. I'm pretty excited. Getting a pricey niacinamide is going to be great for a lot of people. Now let's transition over here into BoxyCharm, but it is very confusing to say that because again, are we going to get better branding? Some of you guys actually let me know, and I've been sick, so I, I did not think to say this earlier in the beginning of the video. You guys have been messaging me on like my comments in my videos on Instagram, telling me that maybe you've gotten things from your Ipsy like boxes, and they've come in blank boxes, like brown packaging. You guys are just like, just like, I'm so confused what's happening with their packaging. So maybe, maybe they are going to be transitioning. I don't know. But on their website, it does say BoxyCharm when I'm going to look at these products. So uh, one, I hope they update the packaging soon. Just, you know, new times. Let's update the packaging, but also give us something that is going to keep our product from breaking. That was a huge bummer for the Icon box. Even like that bougie next level luxury, it stunk that those products came broken and a lot of people were complaining about that. So if, you know, we're, we're going to be seeing this brand new vibe with Ipsy Boxy Charm Icon box, make sure our products don't break. You know, give us some actual cushion in there because this brown paper filler is not going to stop something from breaking and has not. Luckily, nothing broke this month, but it's also because we did not get a lot of makeup. But what I did get, I am pretty pleased with, and I'm not going to sneeze even though I could because I have a cold on any of this because I was really impressed. If I had not tried these two pieces this morning, I may have been a little like, oh, I really want more makeup. And I do, I still want more makeup. And that's something a lot of us have wanted from subscription boxes. Now that maybe we're kind of feeling that makeup vibe again, even though maybe we're still doing more natural looks or we're just doing maybe one bold thing like a bold lip or a bold eye, we still want some quality makeup. But if you're gonna give me skincare, I want it to be quality. And thank you, Ipsy, for allowing this to be really quality. When I was trying this this morning, I was like, okay, we'll see how it goes. This, I really think set my face up to be ready for that next step. My skin didn't feel too tight, but it did feel taunt. Do I want to say that? It felt like prepared. It felt really good. This is a enlightening, exfoliating, cleansing gel. I really can't wait to have Adam try it to see the way he can articulate it because right now my brain is super fuzzy and I wish I could say more helpful things for you right now. So stay tuned for an updated phase and fails what I think if it breaks me out. I could smell this watermelon extract from the Dew of the Gods toner. I, not a bad way though. I think this smells very fruity but light. And this went on really well. It's not too watery. Honestly, what this reminded me of is the toner that Adam pretty much stole from me and he was obsessed with it. Um, it's the milk one. It's the milky. Why am I trying to think of things when I'm sick? I know, I know better than that. There's like a very milky toner that he loves and it's not too watery. It's not overwhelming. I think he's gonna love this because it's very similar to that. And I think again, these two pieces, when I went to go put on my primer this morning and then put on my foundations, everything was going on super well. Almost like I had dermaplaned my face, but I had not. That's a good way to say it. Like if you've ever dermaplaned your face where you really get all of like the peach fuzz off, everything smooths on. Prepping my skin this morning with this, everything went on really well. And they're foundations that I've loved for a long time. I'm just kind of like pulling them out for the summertime. So I was noticing how well everything has went on, but also how well things are lasting, how things are laying on my skin right now feel like glass. They feel really smooth. Everything is doing a great job, even my pores. And I put on a highlighter today that has glitter flex in it. And you just, I couldn't avoid that part of it, even if I was trying to, but you don't really see them. Now on the front of my face, if I'm going to be really picky about the application on my skin, I'll bring you in just a bit while we're talking about this. I really think everything looks so smooth. Really, really do. Now I'm looking over here in my mirror that's right here. And if I wanted to be extra persnickety, I could say up here, I need to be more mindful to not maybe allow some of the fluff to go because that's where some of my bossy pores are. But honestly, and I do see like, it'll gather a touch of the glitter there. In person, I can maybe see it. I film in front of natural lighting for the best look on camera for you to give you a very true to life vibe, but it's also flattering. 
I do see where some of like the sparkles could live, but I don't know what it is about this formula that it still looks smooth. It's not really accentuating texture, which I really don't need or want. So I'm going to keep playing with this this summer. And I do have this on collarbones and on shoulders. And I do think that it just kind of gives you that glow from within. It doesn't look like it's just like heavily caked on or anything. I do have it on my nose. I haven't done that in a while where you just kind of like do that extra bit. It's like the highlighter from back in the day. And I'm pretty pleased with this, honestly. It's giving me life right now. And when you're sick and you don't feel hydrated, you want that glow to feel like you're hydrated. So I'm not mad about this. And while I have you punched in, let's talk about this eyeshadow. Again, the component is like a tiny weight. I want to reiterate really quickly, the highlighter is 25 bucks and this eyeshadow palette is 42 and $42 for four shades. For me personally, if I was spending my dollars on this at this, at, how do you say this brand? El, I'm going to, I'm going to ask Google, how do I pronounce this? Il Maquillage. Il Maquillage. It sounds way too fancy. <laughs> um, but for $42, it's stinking better be. I think that this went on really well. Now, if I was going to be spending my own $42, if I was going to the store to purchase it, I would really want to know that it was good. And I'd really want to be like having a hankering for that. I would want to be hungry for this if I'm going to spend $42 on four shades. That's a little over 10 bucks per shadow. So I just want it to be that good. And I will say getting it in a subscription box, I'm not mad about it. Would I go out and purchase it on my own? Just no, I don't know if I would, to be honest, but I'm also maybe a little bit more frugal than some people. Um, I like this though. I do. So getting in a subscription box, super happy to have it. I think everything went on really well. Everything blended well. The shimmer looks good. I am glad that I got the workaholic version where it is three mattes, not three shimmers because I'm going to get way more use out of that personally. And I think everything went on really beautifully. Everything is lasting really well. I don't see anything like sticking in my crease. I don't think I see anything bunching. And again, my skin's a little bit maybe not doing its best because I'm sick. So this is really good. But again, $42 for four shadows. If I was paying for it, I'd be like, ooh, put it in a subscription box? Heck yeah. Give it to me all day long. That's amazing. I'm excited to try more. The mirror is super quality in here. And again, the packaging. So I know that that also elevates that price tag. These are really good though. I'm pretty pleased to have received this, even if it feels a little limiting with four, but that's kind of like the vibe where everybody's like, I need simple, but great makeup. So that's nice. And I do want to say, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about having the eyeliners because talk about a subscription, like given, it's kind of like one of those things where you always get from subscription boxes and you're like, okay, okay. I actually, the, the black redeemed it for me. The, the brown was fine. It's good. I like when things can be a little bit more detail oriented, but I was able, very easily able to smudge it. Not that that's a bad thing because I wanted more of a smudge look with this anyway, but the fact that the black one could do my tight line it is starting to transfer down here a bit onto my lower waterline and bunch out here in the corner. So I will have to let you guys know how I feel about just these liners in general, again, these are from Doll Paint, or they're from the Toy Factory, but they're the Doll Paint line, maybe? A lot of names on here. Doll Paint Gel Liner Duo Kit, black and brown. It says it's made with synthetic Japan wax. I don't exactly know what that means, to be honest. Um, but it says these eyeliners glide on like butter, which I do agree with that. But the fact that it says they stay put all day and night, I am seeing the transfer already. So we'll see. Maybe it'll just transfer that little bit, and that's fine. I don't mind that. But eyeliners in a subscription box, I'm like, I'd have taken something else. That's fine too. So what do I think is going to be worth your dollars? If you're wanting to tiptoe back into this, I'm very brutally honest with you guys. And I always am. I will say I loved my icon box. I do want to throw that back out there again. Now that it's a quarterly box. I think some of y'all have the right idea. Some of you guys have said that you only get the bag because then you can do the add-ons. You can shop and for like $350 or whatever it is, add some of these other things into, I mean, I'm sure that each one of them has their own price set to them because this is probably going to cost more than this if you do an add-on. But you can shop what they have and then get what you're wanting versus getting a box every month and maybe you're still on overload from getting BoxyCharm for the past, gosh, what, five, six years? 
I think a lot of you guys have the right idea with that. And I'm tempted to do that when I'm scrolling through here and seeing some other options. Like I'm seeing different Anastasia Beverly Hills lippies that I got from, I believe, my Icon Box or my BoxyCharm. I think it was my BoxyCharm last month. The shade Warm Peach, really good. I love this lippie. I see some Bobbi Brown in here for BoxyCharm. I see some Fenty, Ofra, Lucky Chick, Violet Voss, Too Faced. There's a lot of things in here that I could be like, oh, maybe I'll just get a discount on it versus getting the box, you know what I mean? I will say their website is being a little glitchy, so I'm having to restart. It kind of gives me the old school boxy charm vibes where I'm like, oh, it's refreshing their website going, come on. And I'm looking through right now the glam bag to see what I could have added on to see maybe which one would drive me more because honestly, nothing in here made me go, oh no, I have super major FOMO. Anything else I'm seeing as I'm scrolling through? Well, shoot, maybe there's more I'm having FOMO about in the glam bag versus the box because I'm seeing the Real Her setting powder and I am convinced and I love my Real Her loose powder. It's like a blurring veil. I'm obsessed with that. So I'm like, oh, I could have got that. Like it's probably a small sample, but you know, I could get that for what? 350, four bucks. There's Kevin Aquan liquid lipsticks. There are Ofra, there's Supreme Botanicals, Bare Minerals. Now these are all minis, so for me that's a lot harder to remember to use sometimes, but then there are some that have stood out to me and I've kept using that I got from my past bags. While I didn't think I was going to say it, I feel like if you wanna to tiptoe back in, maybe just be able to peruse, pick your own things, cause you do get to some choose some of your own things that go into the bag as well. You get to choose at least one product that goes into your bag, plus any other add-ons you want. That could be where the best bang for your buck is at the moment, as we're kinda of seeing what what's out there, what are we wanting to get. I'm also just doing a little bit of like the shop the new things, shop the chief makeup artist favorites, and there's not a ton in there yet. So I feel like there's still using this time to kind of like grow, kind of figure out a, a plan of action. So that would be my best suggestion at this time. But again, I reserve the right to change my mind in the future as things evolve. I'm still just super impressed with the way my skin looks today, the way that the highlighter's doing. My eyes are looking really well today. It makes me feel a little bit better even when I'm sick. So tell me, are you still a charmer slash, what, what is Ipsy called if you're not a charmer? Are you an Ipsy girl? What are you, are you still getting them? What did you get? What are you loving? What could you have skipped on? I always love hearing from you guys because this is really a conversation. I loved learning from you guys last month. The reason we don't get cards is because there are so many options now they couldn't maybe keep up with doing the cards. And I'm gonna keep you guys updated as best I can as we keep doing these videos. Thank you so much for watching. And if you happen to be new, hi new friends. I really hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on the upcoming videos where I'm not as sick and I have a lot of things to go through with you including more declutters. Bye friends!